Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality as well. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Republic VR. Republic or Republic is a game just released on the Steam Store today as far as the VR port for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. However, I can confirm it works perfectly fine on Windows Mixed Reality. Earlier, I was using the motion controllers. And I'm sorry, I have to go for the schoolgirl outfit. I just have to go for it. Now, I'm going to start a new game. But this time, I'm using an Xbox One gamepad. I just want to see what the difference is. Left shoulder to toggle phone, okay? So this game is very cinematic, and I'll shut up. And uh, this game is very cinematic. It's a stealth action game. Uh, it's actually both first person and third person. When you're in first person, you're actually like the cameras. And you can switch from camera, camera to camera to get different views of the locations to guide her along. Sometimes you're playing as her, so sometimes you're playing as third person. And it's very cinematic. It's very narrative. There's lots of cinematic parts. Also lots of stuff to read along the way. But there's also lots of stealth sections, and so far I've enjoyed this game. I like the graphics. It runs very smoothly. It's been running at steady 90 frames per second on my 1060 GTX. Uh, I like the voice acting. It, so far it's well written. I've read this game is 10 to 15 hours long, and we're only going to do a small portion, so my initial impressions are just that initial impressions. I will try to do a full review, but that's probably going to take me a long time because I have other games I need to play <laughs> in the meantime. Sorry about that. So it's going to take a while before I can do a full review. Just being honest, my review is only going to be initial impressions. And yeah, I like this game. It, it seems to be a nice VR port, but so far I really haven't noticed any difference between using motion controllers or the gamepad. Uh, with the motion controllers, you're using point and click. So you're using your motion controllers to point the laser. With the gamepad, you're using a lot of gaze-based navigation, which is probably a little bit easier than trying to use the lasers with your motion controllers to pick different stuff. Okay. Well, is it? Oh, by the way, I, I can change camera view. Okay. <laughs> I don't that thought. Schoolgirl outfit about. getting slapped. Where is it? Where's what? With a dom with dominatrix. That was pretty hot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Quinn Derringer. So I'm not sure if there's a way to change these to the uh, non, you know, away from centimeters and kilograms to pounds and feet and inches. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, I think we're done with that. I did not call for police work. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have it. And Cooper. Okay, dereliction of duty. All right. Selective mutism. What does that mean? <laughs> well, I know what it means. But it's just it's just weird. Check it out. It's not like that, Dellinger. I can handle this quick hell myself. Look. I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. 
I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. So I'm gonna switch camera right now just to get a better view of the girl. Sorry. <laughs> These are the worlds of Sega. Sega is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Marie? What? That's not enough. The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking. I didn't the read anything. I will tell you we will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. Don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. So he finds something under the blanket, but I'm not sure there is a way to, like, I guess it's her cell phone, maybe? But I don't think there's a, anything you can do with it. I don't think. No, nope, I don't think you can. I think that's a cell phone. It's very blocky though, so who knows. Anyways, I like these cinematic parts. They're really well made, especially for VR. This is very high quality for VR, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish there were more games like this in VR uh, 10 to 15 hours long with an actual story uh, this has like mixed review status I believe on Steam as far as the non-VR game but it looks really good in VR some people complained about chapter 4 of this game obviously we're just at the very start so but I've liked what I played so far good evening, the stealth does seem like a little bit too simple I don't know who you're referring to, man. Anyways, I was about to say that So I was about to say that so far I have not noticed that much of a difference between the gamepad and the motion controllers I was using on Windows Mixed Reality. So I would say I like this game better with, with the gamepad. Just because you're just using the laser pointer instead of using the gaze based navigation that you use with the gamepad. I, I think the stealth sections would probably be better with a gamepad. But we'll see. Yes, we can. You can see me in there. Yep. Yeah. What's the difference? There's no way you can help me from there. Look, you're just another pair of eyes watching me. 
right shoulder to use on me, okay? Uh, so we can switch camera again here. We can unlock the phone. I guess we can open the door. Did you do that? Yeah, who else? Duh. Did you open the door? Yeah, jeez. She's not the brightest. <laughs> who you are or how you're doing this but somehow you found a way into this place can you help me find a way out I'll try okay let's go let's do it <laughs> so use gamepad left thumbstick to move and uh, saving okay all right to Tao Crouch. Hello. My name's Cooper. I am the one who returned the phone to the girl. I am using text to speech because it is too risky to use my real voice. Enter OmniView to move from one camera to another and scout ahead. Help the girl stay out of sight from the guards and steal from them when they are not looking. All right. Good luck. I'm sure you can hack it in this place. Ha ha ha. That was a joke, by the way. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Nope. Got your humor. Alright. So, let's use our hacker ability. We can't use it here. Omni version 5.0 required. Okay. So, it's clear here so we can just have her walk over here yes, Don't forget to give help the a good reminder use the cameras to see what's in the next room duh so there's lots of little messages like this all around the world and you just, you just gotta say duh Sanchez, Jose, Don Fubar. <laughs> that that is funny. <laughs> Borderline personality disorder, racketeering, impersonating a public official. All right. <laughs> I once spent some time stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. <laughs> yeah, some of these lines are actually funny. Okay, uh, I guess. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they have some little funny little lines here in this game. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so... I guess we just... I guess there's not much really to do here. So I guess we can stop using the stealth. Just... Find hope. Where is hope? So she can hide in the locker for some reason. Okay, so I guess this tells you the general direction of hope. This is P Zero brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl using either the controller or from the bottom left corner of your phone screen. 
You can tap on a guard to instruct her to attack. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. Melton Cadogan. Uncle Milty. He kind of looks like a famous actor. Like, he looks like an actor in, in the TV series. Can't remember which one. But he looks familiar. Recently, the children in Metamorphosis have become more brazen in their attempts to take things from the Prizrak. Surely, this was Zager's influence. So we definitely want to pickpocket. And we'll figure out how to do that. Use gamepad, d-pad right, weapon toggle. Okay, but is that really what I want to do right now? discovered one of my floppy disks. As a hardcore gamer, I collect many video games. Sadly, my fellow Prizrak torment me by stealing my prized collection. Can you assist the girl in recovering my lost floppy disks? It is not like you have a more important job to do. Imagine that Lewis Carroll ran a high school shop class where my projects actually worked, and you get fantastic contraption. The dreams cape is marvelous, but the game becomes full fantasy when the your laid back cat companion actually helps you. By the way, Fantastic Contraption is actually a real VR game and it's really good. I didn't know these devs were involved in that. Or if they just like the game, I don't know. So far, I have to say, I think I like the gamepad controls better than the motion controllers. I found it easier to pickpocket with the motion controllers. Nope, I cannot. Despite being obnoxious, this poster makes a valid point. The girl is less likely to attract attention if she walks softly. Okay, tell me something I don't know. Okay, that's already open. The Prizrak waged their campaign against Zager from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zeg is a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him now. Should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Okay, so let's look at the guard now. Jerry White. <laughs> Get Jerry Scary, Simon Gary, Simon Jerry. <laughs> Scary Jerry, Jerry Simon. Medical history, post-traumatic post stress and disorder. Grand Theft Auto, possession of contraband, multiple. All right. Okay, anything else that we need to look at? I don't think you can get the emails. Nope. 
So let's go through the door, I believe, is what we're supposed to do. So let's do that. Maybe. I'm assuming you go through through here. Wait, is, it, is there a... This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Did I already do that by accident? I think I did. Welcome to my hey there, you just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. Any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. All right. Two seventy five. And so we got 275, but I don't think we can get any anything. No, we don't have enough money. All right. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. I'm actually wouldn't I actually wouldn't be surprised. Nope, that's it. There's nothing else here. What's going on? It won't let me uh, stay on the... I guess we just gotta wait for him. We gotta steal that from him. Okay. Chris Shell, the Big Shell Incident, Bipolar, Counterfeiting, Possession of Contraband. Okay. A fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Hint, hint. Okay. We're get, supposed to get a fingerprint scan, but how? Not sure. So, are we supposed to steal that? I'm not feeling lucky enough to steal that. <laughs> so, we're just going to go to the open area right now. I'm not gonna press my luck here. Especially since I'm just doing a let's play. Mm. 
Okay, <laughs> so we got to the area that we're supposed to. More cinematic scenes here. So just so you know, right now she's moving by herself. I'm not controlling her right now. This is all cinematic right now. Go ahead and knock it open. It didn't work. Hello. It is Cooper again. You need to upgrade your software at a demon server to open this door. Then the girl can enter the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. The dorm is a big place, so I have updated your map with this waypoint to the server in the commissary. View it by selecting the map icon on your phone. Be careful. Ah, I like this better on gamepad, definitely. Seeing the map is a lot. I think it's like the left touchpad, right? Or something like that. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So we need to go here, right here to the little cross mark there, destination. And it's the statue. <laughs> Look at the statue. <laughs> it's the one with clothes not showing their derriere. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, I'm gonna end my stream right here. Uh, I've liked this game so far. It's only ten dollars, so it's a great deal. I actually got this game in a bundle. Uh, actually, I bought this game on a bundle, and that's how I got it on Steam. And I actually also bought this game on the Oculus Go. I played it a little bit on the Oculus Go, but not really a whole lot. And it's definitely better here on Steam. Uh, just the VR looks a lot better. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Uh, my initial impression is positive, but like I said, this game is like 10 to 15 hours long, and I, I might do a full review in the future, but that'll take a while. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.